Hey everybody, it's the Diecast King here with another NASCAR Diecast review. I'm going to be reviewing some of the older Diecast cards I recently received. I should say gotten online and from uh, oh, a few that I bought at the flea market. So, but I'll tell you which ones I bought at the flea market and which ones I, you know, acquired from friends and stuff like that. So, or online. Things like that. But anyhow, we'll get right down to it. This first one is a number 10 channel lock. This is from... I can't remember what year it is. Let me see here. Look at the box. From 1997. This one is driven. was driven by... I can't really tell, but it's Phil Parsons. I don't know if you can see it in there. Or not but uh trunk opens up and yet the uh, hood opens up these are both uh, elites this one is in here get the underneath uh pretty nice and detailed uh, pretty nice cars. I got this one and, and the other one I want to show you. I got both of these for 40 bucks. Uh, pretty nice cars. Okay, that's the that's the Phil Parsons one. Next one, we got the Double Zero. For if you don't know who it is, it's Buckshot Jones. This is also from 1997, I believe. Yep. 1997. There's some up close. Throw the underneath. Looks like number 233. I don't know how many they made all together. Again, the trunk opens up. And the roof opens up as well, or the uh, hood opens up. <coughs> and this one's a Pontiac Grand Prix. <clears throat> so again, I got these cars on a website called Mercari. So I usually, that's where I usually find a cheap, real cheap die cast. Or to say, good die cast for cheap prices. So again, this one and the other one were 40 bucks. That was with tax, shipping. So I couldn't go wrong. There's almost less. They're both less than twenty bucks by the time I get done. I think they're like fifteen, fifteen each. Might have been twelve dollars each, and was shipping and tax. It came to forty dollars. So pretty good deal. I I think so. So most of these cars I'm going to be showing you, I got for around twenty bucks or less. This next one is a Derek Cope car. Come out, and it's another. Pontiac Grand Prix. This one is from. If I can find out what the. Uh, uh, I'm going to say this is from 1998. Doesn't really say, but. Pretty sure that's what year it's from. Again, the trunk opens up. Let's see a fuel cell in there. That's some kind of. It opens up too. And the underneath, not as detailed, but still not being, you know, it's an action car, so some of these aren't as detailed as they kind of are now or used to be. So, there's that one. Next one is Dale Jr. COT car. This is from I believe 08. <clears throat> so again, you got trunk opens up, shows the fuel cell. You got the roof flaps open up. Try to get the. There we go. Some 
close up in there. And I'm just gonna show you the underneath. So, so this one also cost me twenty dollars, but I bought this from uh, my NASCAR guy that I buy from every month. Bought this uh, a couple weeks ago. And this next one, I'm just gonna bring the boxes out with him too. This one is a Michael Waltrip Woody Woodpecker sit go car. This is from also 19, I think 98 as well. Yes, 98. Again, the trunk opens up. And the hood opens up as well. I think I got this one for 15 bucks at the uh, flea market a few weeks ago. Like I said, a lot of these, a lot of these cars you could find cheap. You know, there might be people out there trying to pay. You know, try to get big money for them, but they're out there. This one is a Jimmy Spencer camel car from 1997. The trunk opens up. Oh, sorry about that. That wasn't supposed to happen. So yeah, get a little bit too close for comfort. Anyhow. Got the trunk opens up. You kind of see it in there a little bit. Fuel cell and everything. And you got the hood. It opens up. These aren't. This one isn't really as detailed as the rest of them are. All right. This one was kind of hard to find. I haven't seen too many of these out here. This one's by Action. You know, it came on a base. I've seen the banks out there, but I really don't like the banks. I've been looking for this one for a while and finally found it. I think I paid like $23 for that one. That was with shipping and everything. And next one over here. This one is a Michael Waltrip Stars and Stripes. This one is from 2004. Uh, I got this one with a couple of Kevin Harvick cars that I'm going to show you probably in the next video. Won't be this one. But I bought both of those plus this one. I believe it was like $35 with tax and everything. So I think that was a pretty good deal. I think I got this one for like for 15 and I got the other ones were for 14 or 15, maybe 16, somewhere around there. And then you got the trunk opens up. And there's a... I'm going to say it's his autograph there, but I didn't, there's no CO, COA with, in the uh, box or anything. So even if it is a true autograph by Michael Waltrip, I have no way of knowing. You know, I could take it somewhere and have it authenticated, but whether it is or not, it doesn't really bother me. It's not, that's not why the reason I got the car. So I just don't have any, too many Michael Waltrip cars. So that's why got this one so for the price I think that the price is right so wasn't too expensive and the price is right the price is right that's what you get and I didn't know it had an autograph on it until I got it so but I thought that was a pretty cool pretty cool deal for that car <clears throat> okay the next one we got is this is another older one This is a Brett Bodine, number 11, close call. I'm going to say this one's from 1997. There's not too many of uh, Brett Bodine cars out there. This one's a Matco car. I think it's a whole, basically the whole car is all die cast. I mean, it's a heavy car. Got the... Hood it opens up. Not as uh, detailed and everything, but it's pretty cool. still pretty cool. Got the trunk that opens up also. I'm 
for a nice car. Like I said, I believe this one, I bought this one on the same website as the other three cars. And this one, and Michael Waltrip one, the next one I'm going to show you. I bought all those on the uh, website called Macari. So, what you do is try to find that website, and tell you, you can find all kinds of nice NASCAR stuff at really good prices. I mean, there's some out there that are pretty expensive, but depending on what you're looking for, I think you'd be pretty good surprised that you can find some, some real good stuff for cheap prices. So, there we have that one. And then we got one more I'm going to show you. This one I've been looking for for a long time too, and finally found this one at a good price. I think this one was like uh, 18 bucks. This one is a Sterling Marlin, number 40 Coors Light Car. This was from the year 2001. Got that in there, the trunk. Uh, engine. Pretty nice car. I do have the model of this one, and ever since I put together the model, I've always wanted to find a diecast of this car. So it took me a little bit. Finally found one. He has. Uh, there are other cars of uh, Sterling Marlins out there that I've seen, but I'm gonna hold off and buying any of those. Cause like I said, I got a friend of mine that has. Uh, I've been buying from every month, and I know he's probably got a bunch of them. So. Hopefully uh, sometime next month, you know, the first couple of weeks of next month of March, I'm going to go back to out of his house and uh, get some more stuff from him. So, but there you have it. Yeah, those two. You know, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, Kevin Harvey cars. I'm going to pause it real quick and I will be back and show you the other two. Okay, now I'm back. So these are the other two two Kevin Harvick cars that I got along with uh, Michael Waltrip Stars and Stripes. They're both from the same guy. And like I said, they're all three of them was like forty dollars the shipping and tax and all that stuff. So they're uh, race fans. These are kind of it's a Brookfield Collectors Guild. So these are kind of different than action, even though they're part of action and stuff like that. But the um, the hood opens up on these uh, the trunk does not open up <clears throat> the bottoms are you know basically molded together they almost remind me of uh, a Ravel model but you know they're not but I do have this car I got the regular action car where you know everything's more detailed and stuff like that but like I said the uh, price was right on these you know I wasn't gonna get them but you know I just couldn't couldn't pass up like the 13 or 14 dollars for these two cars and then the next one is this one it's kind of like um I don't know what brushed metal yeah that's what I was trying to think of brushed metal type paint scheme on it and these are both from 2001 so when uh Kevin Hart Harvick took over for Dale Sr. when he crashed in the opening race of the 2001 season. So the uh, trunk doesn't open up, but the hood does. Oh. But those are the last two cars I wanted to show you. I'll back up just a little bit. <clears throat> but like I said, you know, there, there's, if you go to the Macari website, it's just almost like eBay, but I think it's just a little bit better because uh, there you can actually bid on, or you can bid on something, but you can also give them an offer. And if they take your offer for cheaper than what they're asking, that's great. You know, if not, then, you know, maybe you can message them and they might take a little bit more or less, just depending on how long they've had uh, items up on their uh, auction page or not. So if I go ahead and check it out, and I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Ring that notification bell. And give me a thumbs up. And I uh, hope you guys have fun out there. Keep looking for your you know, favorite die cast. Whatever that is. And hope to see you in the next video. Bye.